of country where no twilight shadows deep on ending day.
walks that I Yeah. 
say goodbye to our loved ones and our friends around us. But then if we know the Lord and the free pardon of sin, and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that our sins are gone and that we have been saved, there is another day. And then as we say farewell at home comments and goodbye to our loved ones, maybe in sickness, maybe even in death, and we've held a hand just before they crossed the river. And we wanted to linger a few minutes with them and tell them just what they had meant to us in life and their persistent Christian living. And then in those last moments, we hurriedly said goodbye to them here, hoping that it wouldn't be the last time. But then we went away, my friend, with the anticipation in our hearts of another day. So I'm saved, friend, to you that don't know the Lord and to you that's not saved. I'd like to urge you to give your life and your heart to the Lord. While you have time and while you have this opportunity, what would be wrong now just slipping on your knees and telling the Lord, Lord, I want you to come into my life. I want you to save me. I need you. What would be wrong now just slipping right down by the stereo or the photograph or wherever you are right now and just say, yes, Lord, I want you to come into my heart and my life. I know that you're able to save me. Nobody else can. And then when you lose your loved ones here, if they're saved, you really don't lose them. You just say goodbye to them for a while and heaven gains them. So friend, if you're not saved, let me urge you to give your life and your heart to the Lord. There will be a day when the silent reaper will burst forth from heaven. The Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through 18, I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain to come in the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yes, friend, he's coming again. Our earthly goodbyes and our sad farewells here will just be a reality then when we gather with him in that land where no sickness comes and sorrow is unheard of and death will be a stranger. So what about you making that promise right now that you'll meet your lovers and your friends and meet the Lord? In that day, you can. The Lord's promise. And he can't fail. Everything else will fail, but Jesus will never fail. We'll live for flowers bloom by the bright and shining river, and the spirit will sorrow no more. May God's protecting grace and love be with us. Here.
Bye.